Uh, okay, so uh, my name is Steve Marsh. Um, apologies if you struggle to understand me. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am British. I am Scottish. Uh, I will try to speak as slowly and clearly as possible. I'm, I'm absolutely fine, by the way. <laughs> good, good. Um, I just hurriedly added in the um, the metallogics and, and my own Twitter, um, and then uh, my email address for anyone who wants to get in contact. Uh, let me just move my slide. First thing, an apology. I'm obliged to do this. I won't spend too much time on it. Just a little bit on who Metalogics are. Um, it, similar to the other guys, we've been around in this game for a considerable length of time. Uh, I think we'll we'll probably, between all the vendors, argue forever and a day to who's been doing this the longest. I think it's fair to say we've all we're all uh, very experienced in this area. Um, um, one of the things about Metalogics, a lot of people uh, generally do think of us as a migration company because of our, our legacy there, that's certainly true, but we do have some other solutions that we have uh, acquired recently around things such as our storage point product, um, the replication area, um, some of the archiving things into the, the exchange world, believe it or not, email is still alive and kicking. Uh, and of course, outside of uh, SharePoint Exchange, venturing into the cloud. The obligatory few customers that we have, I'm not going to spend any time on that. One of the things that um, we are quite proud of is uh, some of the, the accolades that we've uh, received recently. Um, we've been uh, noted in the Inc. 500, it's fastest uh, growing companies. Um, we've also received the award for being in the top 50 growing uh, companies in Washington, D.C., where our headquarters is. Um, something we're really proud of. We really have uh, been spending the last couple of years, or certainly a few years, building out the, uh, the Microsoft uh, portfolio and the company as a whole, adding lots of uh, extras that you would expect from an enterprise class solutions, such as uh, 24 by 7 support, all these sorts of things. Um, but one of the things that we've uh, remained true within Metalogics, um, uh, right from the core of when we started, are some of our, our guiding principles that we have. Uh, and some of these are, are similar to uh, some of the things the guys have mentioned. Um, you know, key to it is that we we want to make sure that um, we are we're making lives easier. There is no point in us coming up with uh, some big clunky solutions that um, we're going to spend more time managing and maintaining than SharePoint itself. So um, we want to make sure that things are very simple to use, simple to install, so that you get that rapid uh, rapid results really. You know, that's what we, we want to make sure. And just as uh, tied in with that, um, we want to make sure that the, the products themselves, as well as being easy to use, easy to install, are actually performant in themselves. So we, we tend to have quite a key focus in, in speed and performance here at uh, Metalogics. Um, Microsoft through and through um, cut us through the middle and we'd be like a, a stick of uh, Blackpool rock, that's definitely a reference just for the Brits, um, but you'd see uh, there's Microsoft stamped through our core. Um, so we, we make sure that we are uh, good Microsoft citizens, we're doing things using Microsoft technology. We make sure we're not doing anything to violate any of the uh, support uh, agreements that you have with Microsoft. A lot of firsts um, in terms of some of the solutions we've got out there and then you know, focus as I say on support. You know, really our live support it is a real people you'll, you'll get through to. Um, we make sure that our guys are, are very well trained um, from uh, that perspective. So what we do, um, we enhance the use and performance of content management platforms. There's, there's kind of a few areas that um, I guess these are things you'd expect. The upgrade or migration, what we're known for, consolidating from different sources of systems, file shares, for example, public folders, all those wonderful things that are out there. Um, but also then looking at some other areas such as synchronize. You know, we know that SharePoint now is an enterprise solution. It's globally distributed. There's customers that have multiple farms. They have farms with uh, uh, poor connectivity. So we want to make sure we have that. And as more and more content gets added into SharePoint, we want to make sure that people can do it as cost effectively as possible. Um, so similar to, I think, one of the things that Peter said, we know, uh, and the, the guys from Dell, it isn't just about 
moving the content. You know, we need to make sure that it is everything that goes in around it. So the content itself, the workflows, permissions, all the lists and libraries, I think that's a given. But looking at bringing in that information from the different um, silos, breaking down the, the information silos, but increasing the value of the information, something I said right up uh, top, the, the sort of the tagging element, the, the discovery uh, side of things. We want to make sure that's that. And then I said the, it doesn't stop there. You know, we need to think about deploying content across distributed or dispersed farms. We need to think about 100% uptime, so having content synchronization for high availability farms, but doing it as, say, in a cost-effective uh, manner, so being able to, to look at reducing the, the storage costs um, for, you know, if we're going to bring in terabytes of, of content. And it's, a, it's an ongoing process. You know, it's something that we're not going to... Um, uh, get to the end of any time soon because SharePoint is a living, breathing thing. That's my uh, marketing speak out of the way. Let me just uh, jump out of that and share my other application. So hopefully this should be popping up. We can see our uh, migration manager product. There's same as the other guys, we're going to be at the um, the SharePoint conference. There's a there's a few things we're going to be lifting the, the covers off there. Um, I'm I've been uh, told I'm not allowed to, to show anything today, so <laughs> sticking to sticking to what we've uh, what we've got here and now. Um, so one of the things that um, I think we've we've uh, we've heard a few people talking about is just the different types of of SharePoint connections, etc. So, you know, connecting into SharePoint. Um, I've heard the, the term agent list. We've heard about people using web services correctly. You know, that's something that Methodologics thoroughly believes in also. Um, but we like to think we give people choice. Um, that we do have different options available. So, yes, we can, you know, install completely separately, just use all the, the remote web service connections to, to SharePoint. But equally, for people who want to do some of the more advanced features and functionality that perhaps isn't available through those web services, um, we want to give people the option. So we can do the direct connections to the SharePoint object model or using a, a Metalogix extension web service. So we have uh, those options availability to, uh, available to you. And we're uh, security trimmed, so you know this isn't just a case of whoever has access to this um, this this tool is going to be able to do absolutely everything within your environment. It's uh, it's absolutely not the case. Um, so we we adhere to all those sort of security principles. Um, let me just cancel out of that. So um, we talked. A few people have talked about um, getting ready to uh, move and, and migrate content. And one of the things that um, people, our customers are always um, are saying is, well, you know, how do I know what I have within my environment? Um, how do I know um, what I should be thinking about migrating? So one of the, the cool features that we've got, um, I mean, there's a lot of features in this product, so I'm just going to really highlight the, some of the, I guess, lesser known, really powerful things we have in here. And one of them is our search feature. So this is where we can really start to look at what we have within our environment. So we can think of, for example, um, I might want to base it on sites, and maybe I want to know which sites have been modified within, I don't know, the last year or the last two years, perhaps. You know, we might want to search on that. Um, because I think I heard the phrase earlier on that it's, you know, it's not just about moving from A to B. Uh, moving everything, moving all your rubbish in. I absolutely agree with that. So there's a whole different bunch of criteria we can start to search in on, such as the modified by, created by. We can search by content types, for example, or we can search on particular terms. So this we can really start to, to use to help us build up a picture of what we have uh, within our environment. Um, Steve, you got a five-minute warning? Great, thank you, Mark. Um, one of the other things we have is obviously comparing sites. So we need to have a look at in our 2007 environment, what do I have in perhaps one of my 2010 sites? And the same, think about what the different options are, filters, comparing on metadata, for example. So we can get reports on all these sorts of things. Um, one of the other things that I quite like is, again, if we've been doing this over time, multiple uh, different iterations, we can analyze churn. So we can 
analyze how much content has changed perhaps in our source environment so it can help us with planning these incremental migration jobs that we might want to run as, a, as part of our process. Um, so in terms of all the sort of usual features, let me just quickly copy uh, a site and go over here and actually just select to paste my site. Very simple, uh, intuitive UI. All the different options that we can have, we can, similar to, I've heard the term being used, granular. Absolutely, we can go very granular on both the items, but also into the different elements of uh, the sites that we have. So things such as uh, pasting the permissions or permission levels or content types, all these sorts of things we can get very granular with. Um, oops, I'm selecting my wrong site there. Um, but then we have all the different options as well. So the incremental custom copy, for example, we can get very granular with what we choose uh, to do. Some of the features that uh, jump out uh, at me that I'd like to, to highlight is things such as mapping into uh, taxonomy, manage metadata. Um, so we absolutely do have those features right out of the box. We can start to, to map to help make sense of some of the information that we've got in there. Um, mapping permissions I mentioned. Workflow. It's always one that we're asked about. Um, you know, what do we do in terms of workflow? And for us, it's both the out of the box, the SharePoint designer, um, and Nintex workflows. Um, so we absolutely want to make sure that we're going to be able to accommodate those as part of a migration. Uh, one of the really cool uh, integrations that we have with one of our other products, um, our Storage Point product, is that we can actually, um, as part of the migration, um, not move the documents into SQL Server. We can use Storage Point and its remote blob storage capabilities to move the content straight away uh, onto cheaper tiers of storage. Um, as well as cost saving, there's a performance uh, increase by, by doing something like that. So that's, uh, that's really quite a, a key um, feature and enhancement that we've, uh, we've got in our product. Um, the ability to go back in, re change the configuration of uh, previous jobs, or possibly um, generate uh, a PowerShell script. Um, Two minutes, Steve. Okay, thanks, Mark. We have the ability to do that also. Um, so there really are some, some quite uh, powerful uh, features that we have in there. Um, one of my pet hates is file shares and as, a, as another um, area that we can absolutely uh, look at and um, there's lots of uh, cool features behind here such as reporting. We can generate a report on all the content in your file share again to help you plan out a migration. We can look at mapping uh, the metadata in your file share to uh, content within SharePoint, content types, columns, for example. Uh, and uh, in a similar way that we um, had the integration with Storage Point on the, the other, um, uh, the, the other uh, SharePoint side of things, we absolutely have that here as well. So if you do have a file share with lots of terabytes of content in it, don't obviously want that all into SQL, what we can actually do is automatically turn that into what we call an endpoint. So all we do is we move the metadata into SharePoint. So all the information wrapper and management features and functionality of SharePoint can be applied to your file share without moving all that to SQL. So performance improvements and the migration itself plus all the uh, speed benefits with that. Um, so there's some Great. of the, the sort of highlights that I wanted to show. So thank you very much. Come and see us in uh, Vegas.